Hey guys, it's Carl Brown for GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to learn how to play Woman by Wolfmother. So uh, this one's a, a, a fun one, just got a few riffs to learn here. Um, and it really, one of them actually makes for a really good picking exercise, so it's going to be fun. Uh, we're in standard tuning here. So let's start here with that main riff that opens the song, um, is also the verse of the song. So it's going to start with just a power chord here at the 7th fret on the A string. So that's 9th fret on the D, and 9th on the G. 7 on the A, and then you have the low E open with it. So just go down, up, down, up, down. So you got that. Three down ups, and then you're going to jump down here to the 6th string, hammer 5 to 7, over to 5 on the A. So we have this. Repeat that. After you've done that three times, then you grab the power chord here at the fifth fret off the low E string. So the fifth fret here, seven on the A and the D, and then move it down to two frets. So all together, nice and slow. And repeat. All right, now the next riff is the pre-chorus, and it's pretty easy. You just go take this power chord um, just on this off the sixth string. So you're gonna be starting it here. You just did those two. You're gonna go up to the fifth fret now. Just hit the chord, let it ring. Then the eighth. Then do that again. And then do seven and 10. So we have this. And that takes you back to the main riff. All right, so those are the two main riffs, obviously, in the song. But we also have this kind of a bridge section. It's really kind of a breakdown, uh, breakdown section. And it sounds like this. It's, this is the one that's a really great picking exercise. So he kind of repeats that again and again. Now what's going on there? Now you can actually do some pull-offs here. I'll show you how to do that too. But we'll just uh, see if we can pick every note with just alternate picking first. So we're going to go 7, 5. By the way, this is kind of palm muted, so just lightly let your palm touch the back, you know, the back of your hand touch at uh, the back of your hand, like uh, the inside of your palm, the back of it though. Um, Right, let it rest right near the uh, where the strings meet the bridge. So it, you get that kind of a punchy sound. So we have seven, five, to seven. On, that's on the A string to seven on the low E. So think of these as little three note groups. So we have one, two, three. Now the next three note group is going to start from the next note down in the scale, which is the fifth fret here on the A. So we started here, the first one, did three notes down from that. Now I'm going to do three notes down from this one, which is the fifth fret on the A. And that's five on the A, then seven, five on the low E. So we have this so far. And then we're going to go seven, a three down from this note, which is the seventh fret on the, on the low E string, seven, five, three. And then come back and just grab the fifth fret and hold it. So we have one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. All together. Then you can do the exact same thing for the three, three, three note groups, but instead of coming back to the fifth fret and holding that, you're going to let the open E string ring instead. So we have this the first time through with the fifth fret. And the second time through. The low E open. And just repeat those two together. Alright, so if you're not good at the alternate picking with pentatonics, 
can be a little bit stressful. So if you want, you can work that up to stay loose in the hand. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. You can end it with an upstroke if you want. Um, so that's the picking. Just start with a downstroke and do straight alternate picking throughout the entire picking sequence. So you get to there and then start over with a downstroke again. Or you can make it a little bit easier and just pull off seven to five. So basically pull off whenever you have two notes um, on the same string, you're gonna pull off from the top one to the bottom one. So we have this, you're gonna pull off from that. Then pick those two notes and then pull off here. So pull off, pull off, then pull off. So it can be a little bit more complicated that way, but it can be easier to play as soon as you get it down. But it's a difference in the sound. I'll pull it off and then I'll pick it. So I like the real aggressive one where you just pick it and you get the palm muting that's really uh, making the notes pop out there. All right, so we have uh, a little bit of a riff that goes on underneath the organ solo. And it sounds like this. So that's it in the low E open. And now instead of pulling off, we're going to hammer on. So low E open string. Hammer on five to seven. So hammer five, then seven. And over to the fifth fret on the, the uh, A string. So you're going to hold that note. So we have this. Then the fourth time, instead of grabbing the fifth fret on the A, you grab the seventh fret. So we have this all together. So it does that underneath the entire solo. And of course, there's a couple more times they go back to that. So if you know the song well, we've covered all the riffs that you're gonna run into. Uh, but that one right there is what they're doing underneath the, uh, keep the organ solo. When they're kind of jamming out. All right, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.